Okay, we have Hellhorned Stygian. Permadeath, and I need to take as many units as possible. Alright, hopefully this offers Wrathful Champ. He seems like a natural choice here. Inferno, hmm. Hmm. That'll make life tougher. But it's also not that hard to work around at the same time. Uh, for a little bit of early game help, I'm going to opt for Cleansing Water? Or do you want to lean into the Frozen stuff? I think I will lean into the Frozen stuff. Okay, so I do not have the champ I wanted. But I do have a lot of defensive options. The thing is, in this particular setup, I don't really want to park my Hornbreaker Prince behind a tank. So I'd really much rather have Wrathful. Uh, between the two of these, I think I'll take Reaper, though. And I'll just need one extremely beefy tank. Uh, yeah. Armor Emblem Gathered Clergy isn't normally very fun, but there are ways of getting around it. And the offensive potential can be mitigated by just doing this forehead. Um, to clear out two of them, armor you up some more. That's acceptable, I think. He does get one slave rock, and the clergymen in front of him are going to be deraged. Good. That's fight one taken care of. Uh, fledgling Imp is less good compared to Wilder Helper. Which I do need to make sure doesn't die, because it is itself a unit in this challenge. Uh, spell weakness... I could do a spell weakness Inferno component, why not? Okay, I do want to take some kind of unit here. Uh, which unit would I like? Something backline-ish. Which, all of these are backline-ish. Um, second Slay Trigger doesn't seem like the best idea. Encanter, if anything. I'm not sure I'm going to play any of these, but... worth taking a look at. Okay, either of these offers a unit banner, because either of them can be taken. Because I'm kind of hunting for permafrosts here, I'll take the Stygian banner and opt for Silophyte. Please offer permafrost, thank you. So now I can Inferno at zero cost whenever I want it. I don't want to drop the cost of, of anything else further. Sure. Chrysalis sounds good. So then seeing either a uh, Cuddle Hex or a Tick Trial. Is it safe? Relatively? I do have to play my Welder Helper in front or not at all, though. Getting Endless on that might have been stronger than what I turned out to do. Uh, I doubt I throw this down here. It seems odd. Good. Alright, Welder Helper will go in front. Will not go in front, because I that will lose me a slave proc if I try. Um, we'll just funnel damage into that guy. Fortify. Shame I don't get Siphon this turn. But I do have Inferno, which will clear the adds for me. Thank you, Inferno. Very cool. And now I have this, but I have some potential problems. Never mind, they're not actually going to resolve themselves. Or they are going to resolve themselves, rather. I'm not sure Daedalus will be that easy. But with the help of another Wilder Helper, and more random spells, we might be okay. Okay, this is mandatory. Uh, probably like the tank here. And then I have to dupe a unit, which should pretty obviously be Welder Helper. 
Purge a unit, purge a spell. Mm. Uh, well, let's see. So what are the options we've got? Revenge, do some stuff, endless with plus attack, and then I forget what the third one is. I think I'm willing to try that with one of my welder helpers. Seeing as I'm not about to play them if they're not endless. And a 1 in 3rd chance of getting endless is not bad. Uh, what about extinguish Nardinian? Oh, that's the third upgrade. Okay. Torch the wrong target there. Oh well. Fortify. I'll hold Inferno to save on energy. Hmm. Yeah, I will. I will. Because I do want to slay that target. Alright. Uh, you guys are getting Inferno. I'll try it. I expect it to be safe, but I could be wrong. Could very easily be wrong. Okay, you're gonna be dealing 35, so I just need to throw that at you now. Oh dear. Uh, can I get rid of the bomb easily? No. Not easily at all, as it happens. Not great, that. We'll see how this goes. I may have to reset. Or not. Alright, another welder helper, yes. Um, I can leave this guy, but I can also just whack him. Relentless one. Okay, energy siphon again. Can torch and should to save on damage. Inferno. Good. The uh, usability on Inferno is definitely pretty limited here. But it has worked so far. Okay, reinforce double armor or transcend it, since this is permadeath I have to take transcend it, regardless of whether I want it or not, but I do think it's fine to get. It just is yet another source of armor if I can play it safely. Okay, called Celia, Horned Warrior, Steelworker. Uh, do I play, am I going to play any of these? No, I'm not. This is probably the safest one if I do end up having to play it though. Uh, extra draw seems like the play. So far I believe I've obtained all possible upgrades, or units, and I guess I'll stick to that record here. Alpha friend, probably. Not that I'm going to do much with any of these. Uh, Hell's banners, okay. I think I'd rather Scorch Steel than that, just because my energy woes are at the moment pretty limited. Um... Well, this path is almost always better. Is there any reason why that wouldn't be the case here? Uh, the only reason why that wouldn't be the case normally is that I would have some other way of getting a multi-strike, but I do not have a book, and I don't think I really want book, so that's not happening. Okay, clip tormentors. Not too fun on my energy front. We opt for no trial. Don't think I'd need coins that much. Okay. Well, let's see here. Without assistance, this won't be slain. I will try to set up here. Will it work? Good question. So far it's working, but is that a guarantee that it will continue to do so? No, it really isn't. It is so far, though. Uh, and fortify, I will not be able to use Inferno properly here. And I will not be able to slay out that little lighter, which I guess is where I use Inferno. Uh, 
Um, okay, transcend him. No. Okay, that was just enough. Yeah, you know, only 98 damage. It's not that bad. Branding, right? Does he have enough health to survive that? He does. He can survive exactly one of them. And then I can target damage. That's really it. I think it's too expensive for what it gives me. No, I think it's necessary, actually. Permafrost. You know. Um, extinguish. That's not the right one. Guess I'll take this now. Uh, does Heaven's Finest just increase the damage on that Narnanian, or does it do something else as well? Okay. So I'll take this immediately. Actually, no, I'll hold on to it in hopes of getting it endless later. Because then it will be pretty good. Okay. Unit upgrades. What are they good for? Not really that much, honestly. Um, let's get rid of some of these lads. And then I'll dupe another transcendent. And check the caverns. Railforger's hammer for extra capacity. Probably the right choice here. Uh, Ancient Hate. Only really good damage spell I have is Inferno. Or no, I have lots of Chrysalis, so no, this will not be taken. Okay, Sycophant time. This will be a fight with which to set up high. I think, anyway. Okay, it can survive exactly one of these. Which is still worth it, IMO. Alright, um, preserve you. For free casts next turn. Leak the unit, that's fine. Do I Inferno a floor ever? My guess is the answer is no, but maybe it's not. Uh, Chrysalis brings you down into double slay range. That will not change if I torch you out. Uh, so I think the answer is no, I'm not going to Inferno. I'll save it for the boss, yeah. Oh, sweet boss. Did not catch that. Okay, that means I'm going to have to do some stuff. And by stuff, I probably mean reset the fight. We'll see if I can somehow finagle something, but I'm not holding my breath. Okay, th thank you for the info there. So yeah, these things cannot live. Alright, that will require a fight reset then. And I need to go to challenges as opposed to... The other option... Okay, so what is what gets changed then? Only just not playing its forehead. Okay. Unfortunate to see Sweet Boss, but he would have to show up sooner or later. Uh, preserve this thing again. Set up here will be the same. I basically just need to get a bulky enough. Prince, and a strong enough Prince offensively to do the job. Hold Inferno for the same reason as last time, I think. Uh, I wish I could Branding Right again, but I can't. I'll Branding Right you instead. Save some damage.
Helical is better. Doesn't change anything, though. Could have done it with Spell Weakness, and if it makes a difference, I will. It may well make a difference. Oh, why don't I not siphon boss? What am I doing? Inferno now. Might still be fine. I'll just accept the pyro damage and move on. This was bound to be a pretty hard boss for me. Um, March of Shields for extra armor, probably. Uh, or Tiresome Climb to do what? Hmm, extra armor versus extra slay manipulation. Probably extra slay manipulation, because my imps will serve for armor. Ah, Cuddle Hex. I was hoping to see it here. Alright, this guy's back. Okay, removal isn't a huge priority, but double stacking certain things or holding over especially tiresome climb would be nice. Uh, for artifacts, rail hammer, consumed crown, hammer chest plate, split anvil, ashes of the fallen. It's a decent chunk of artifacts. Oh yeah, that one. Do <laughs> you mean? Uh, Parson housing. I'm not really limited on slots much, so no. ROC guild marker. Should not have bought that actually, but it's fine that I did. I just won't spend enough gold to make it worth it. Caverns. Woken Rail Spike, Waxen Spike, Spike of the Stygian. Waxen Spike is a no-go. Rail Spike is takeable, but not amazing. I think it's probably better than the Stygian Spike, because you can't stack it. At least not with anything I have. Alright. So yeah, Icicle Fracture Titan's Claws is just a okay combo, nothing too crazy. And we have here Wrathcrest. Believe I will want to set up here or there. Okay, which do I want to choose? Probably get the early slay. Yeah, so that is going to fix my hand. Okay. Um, hold transcendent. Hopefully, it gets frozen. It doesn't. To be expected, though. Oh, that's a sweeper. Uh, you're going to need some armor for when he gets there. Uh, does Chrysalis get both? Does Chrysalis get both? Minus 50, so it's going to be 45. No, it doesn't. Siphon Chrysalis will do too much and ab outright kill the enemy there. Um, so I can't get... I can get one slay, however I throw it out there. I cannot Welder Helper because of this fool. Should I probably... Uh, I could, but it's not safe. Alright, I'll just throw Chrysalis and Preserve Welder Helper. And then Siphon just goes on boss. Uh, yeah, I could... I could tire some Climb. I considered that option, but I decided against it. Oh, well, now I should have decided for it, apparently. But I still can. Uh, so 45, 45 is going to hit you. Now you get both slaves. If I can, I can we'll cuddle Hex, and I definitely can. So now the question is, do I send him up here? 
Yeah, I think so. Remove all chance, even if it will deal a little bit of damage to the pyre. Not too bad. You know what is too bad? That. Which is why it gets summarily infernoed. Okay, now that's a bunch of armor on you. That is all the units I can play, so the last transcendent will basically just go to waste. And my hand is getting clogged up, unsurprisingly. There's not that much I can do about it, especially with double card- oh god. Be gone! Can't brandy right anything. I'll brandy right the statue just because it's gonna get destroyed, and then I'm gonna throw a woken rail spike. I would want to throw this at Fell, but I really can't. I guess I'll do it now. Alright, we good? We not good at all. Okay, so more armor is necessary, which means Cuddle Hex kinda has to go. Yeah, it is. Wait, that's not the right run. Haha! <laughs> I kept doing that. That was an all-clans attempt. Yeah, it is. It's definitely overkill. And if I could purge units, I would, but obviously I can't. Um... So once again, Hornbreaker. Welder Helper. End of Sentence. Branding right hold transcendent maybe this time. Yeah, I'll try that. I wanted Wrathful here originally. Okay, I'll hold on to Tiresome Climb using Preserve. And then throw a Chrysalis at this. Siphon fell. Um, third welder helper is better than transcendent. Let's see. It basically doesn't matter, so sure, I'll use it instead. The same, yeah, I think you're right. It's two slaves instead of one. I'm just gonna get rid of Rail Spike. I think I actually have more Pyre HP this way. I'm not exactly sure why, but I do. Okay, so now I have 129 armor. Y'all are dead. And yeah. Plus my hand is much less stacked. I don't know why I would even bother with that, but I can, I guess. Uh, okay, you're getting out of here. That does miss me my uh, proc of... Slave, it also gets some early damage onto Fell that I wouldn't have otherwise gotten, so it's okay. Uh, Tiresome Climb doesn't really go on anything. Aside from Fell herself, maybe? Nah, I think that would still be bad. So, like, if it gets it frozen, that would be nice, though. It doesn't. This seems much better, though. 
Oh, get it. Overstacked. Yeah, you, you were right, but I don't think it'll matter. Fortify. Chrysalis. Yep, we're good. Wait, no, we're not. That's not it at all. So, yes. Tiresome climb other units. None of the units I'm holding are particularly... Wait, that's still the wrong run. <laughs> My muscle memory. <laughs> Oh, uh, did you lose outright, or did you just have to sack units? Oh, that's rough, yeah. Alright, hold transcend up seemed to have been the right idea. Oops, that's not what I did last time. I'll see if it works better, but I doubt it will. Yeah, it kind of does. Uh, I do want to get those slave rocks, so I will not play the torch. And accept all that higher damage. Okay, Y'all are still too much, so you're dead. Okay, so even more damage is required. But yeah, you're right about the... Uh, I think it's Alpha Friend that would get Tiresome climbed. The problem is that Alpha Friend does not have... Okay, you're getting Tiresome climbed, actually. Get that extra Slave proc. One siphon. Another trick I could try would be like Alpha Friend Transcend Up with all of these effects on it, but I don't think that's quite good enough. Uh, I think I will accept this for the sake of damage, but I'm not sure it will work. Can I choose nothing? No. Because that's probably what I would want to choose. If at all possible. Okay, this is worse. It's not worse by much, but it is worse because I lack armor. Okay. New plan. I don't think it'll work, but I do think it's worth at least. No, no, it's not even worth considering. Being unable to properly sack imps is a really big problem, huh? Okay, new and a little weirder plan. Yeah, I could climb a different unit. What I think I'm gonna try is... Something a little different. Which is I'm going to stack Welder Helpers up here and then play a final Transcendent down there. In hopes, although I'm not sure they'll work, that... That's not quite sufficient damage, unfortunately. But he'll still get up to 45. And hopes that'll get more armor that way. So then, one more welder helper would go up there. Uh, 
I'm not much liking the whole ascend through thing, but I guess I'll have to. So yeah, Welder Helper would go up here if I can really do it at all. Which I'm not sure I can. This is going to take 6-6 six, six, and then 4-4. Four, four. It'll live one round. I'll play it a... I'll just play another unit. I think Steelworker is the best choice to soak up that damage, I think. So I believe I'm almost guaranteed to pull Transcend up here. Or the next turn was going to be the rest of that sentence. I'm not sure this is better much, but that's a different option that has some benefit, it seems. Hold Inferno for boss, I guess. Like, Relentless 1 sort of thing. Um... Well, I can accept this damage, which is pretty much okay, it seems like. 65, 65. Wish I could branding right, but I can't. Uh, let's try ascending you into the back. And then I've got that Inferno for whenever I want it. Okay, we got 75, then 75, so a Chrysalis allows me to get both Slay procs. Okay. You're getting slapped. This is less armor, but I do have this thing. And my offensive power is a little bit better as a result. Okay. Armor up. Preserve something completely arbitrary. Siphon. Chrysalis. Every single imp still dies. Oof. Can I send them out of trouble? Not really. And I don't think I will be willing to take this sacrifice either. There was one play? What was the play? Play the... Oh! You want... Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, that's a good call. That extra 100 damage should make the difference. So it's this, and that, and then hold. And then it was branding right, transcend up, something like that, or... Chrysalis, maybe? Yeah. No, this doesn't look quite right. Maybe it was, I don't really know. But not getting that slay seems pretty obviously bad. Another Welder Helper. Preserve this boy. Okay, this time you're getting ascended through. Actually, not this time, that's the same as last time. Okay, third Welder Helper gets thrown out here. And then I think I Rail Spike. Get more armor. We got these fools. Okay, so this is slightly messed up, I think, but it may still function. 
We'll see. Yeah, so I do want to play Silophyte if I can. Oh, uh, this is wrong. This is very wrong. Silophyte is there. And now Fell's gonna get swept, which is good. So then last round I climbed Nameless Seren. I think I instead want to climb Alpha Friend now that I have it. Seems like it's a better source of scaling. 55, 110, so I'll get two slays. Uh be gone. Alright, so that's an extra spell weakness. As you said. So then we fortify here. Blast this floor. And then I suppose I may as well tire some climb. It'll probably end me up better off. Yeah, I think so. Up you get fell. Yep, we're good. Pretty decent after just a few resets. Uh, Siren's Song allows me to mess with some stuff, which is generally pretty good. Um, I think extra capacity to play all imps would be best. Um, Endless Imp, maybe more removal, not so necessary. And extra pyre health is good for this. Endless. Voila. Don't think I need any of those. Random health one consumable. That's rage serum or something else. Uh, remnant is bad. Stygian could be spines or seeds, both of which are okay. Yeah, I'll take Stygian. Got seeds. I'd probably rather have had spines, but that's alright too. Seraph is diligent. Should keep that in mind. Okay, I think Reaper 2 is the play. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so having that Endless Wilder Helper will help a ton, obviously. Oh boy, more sweepers. Lovely. Hopefully they won't be too bad because of the Scorched... What is it? Uh, scorched Steel. There it is. Okay, we're going to set up Floor 3. Throw one of these. Welder Helper. Save Transcendent for later if I can. I do think I'll be able to. Um... No need to do extra stuff to you, but I can to you. Let's get rid of this. Okay. I'm going to fortify the backliners here to ensure their continued safety. Second Welder Helper, unfortunately, will not kill the Lightwing. What would I draw? Maybe Chrysalis, but that's unlikely. Alright. I'll simply play the next Welder Helper. Preserve Rail Spike? Climb. Climb is better. Alright, so we're up to 110 by 2. It's pretty good. I can Branding right. And I can play Endless Imp in front, because it's Endless. Uh, because I'm not going to get a slave proc on you, it makes little sense to keep you around. Okay, let's get you into slay range if I can. 
which I definitely can. Preserve climb one more time. Probably should have preserved something else, but there are other things I can do as well. And playing Transcendent will actually put it on the Wilder Helper, which is not ideal, but it's still acceptable. Hold this. Fortify up here. Uh, I guess I hold in for no reason not to. Do I bring anything in? Not really. I don't think I need to worry too much here, just because living armor scales so slowly. Does he scale that slowly here? Nah, not really. Let's daze him. Actually, let me first do this, and then daze him. Good. That daze makes a decent difference. Okay, tiresome climb bud again? Sure. It's been pretty helpful so far. And then I guess I just take the unit. Ah, I see your train corpse there. Rest in peace. Um, I think I'm obliged to take this one and dupe for the extra unit. Let's get another one of these, which I can use for more utility purposes. And... Collection of Tails. Rage does not decay. How much rage do I offer? None. At all. Uh, chicken Nugget? Not really, either. Railhammer! Yeah, that's the ticket. Forever Flame would also have been good, but I think Railhammer is better. Power Drain Emblem. Okay, setup floor is a great question, honestly. Where do I set up? I'm going to try it first with third floor. But I'm going to also try doing this. And then hold transcend up till as late as I can. I wonder if I want to do this. I'll try it without first, though. So, I do only want branding right once, so that's perfectly fine. So now I got this... <sighs> wow. Dang, okay. Not gonna get a slave proc with this setup. And in fact, it's going to be particularly hard to do so in this fight. Uh, I think I'm just going to start over, because I definitely cannot afford to take that many blights. There's simply no way. Now I'm wishing I took March of Shield way, way, way back there. Yeah, the fact that this particular fight starts with a bunch of Gilded Wings is not my favorite here. Um, yep. I'm sorry, but it had to be done. I need that scaling, and y'all are getting so killed. Endless Imp relieves the pressure. And gives another Slave Proc. Okay, I need to use Inferno carefully, but...
guess this will do. Acceptable, I think. I want both of them to die. One of them is also fine. Let's do that. Saves a little bit of pyre damage. Uh, now, what do I do? Do I consume Inferno, or do I still have it? I did consume Inferno. That may be an issue. It also may not be. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, then the plan is eventually to use my Transcendence to clean up this fight. If possible, anyway. Um... Thank you for not freezing blights. Okay, we're up to 150 attack, that's good. And this Welder Helper is back. Back again. Non-Endless Welder Helper goes behind you. And then I guess I'll just Rail Spike now. Oh, that was scary. I thought I died for a second. Because I more or less almost did. Um... Let's see here. So it's going to be 1-1, one, one, bunch of random damage, 190. So it doesn't matter really what I do. Uh, throwing out a tiresome climb for mainly defensive purposes here. Might be a good idea. Don't think I need much preserve in this fight. Let's preserve a Chrysalis. And daze you. And then I'll hopefully be able to easily Chrysalis the expose light wings and... Oh. Alright then. Never mind. <laughs> We're good. Those are some mighty, mighty imps right there. And the run is a success. I think that may be a perfect score, unless I missed like a five dupe somewhere. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My score is awful. <laughs> uh, but as for the unit count, we have 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 17, 18 units. It's pretty good.